Right, we introduce another guest on our uh, couch this morning. Uh, the Life and Loves of a She-Devil, that's the title of a black comedy about the bitter revenge of a wife on her husband's mistress. It's on television. The story, uh, written by Faye Weldon, has been serialised for BBC, te uh, BBC Two, and it starts this evening. Uh, playing the faithless husband is our guest, Dennis Waterman, and uh, here's just a glimpse, before we speak to him, of tonight's drama. He doesn't even think about me anymore. All he ever thinks about is Mary Fisher. And I'm very happy to have her. And lucky. I also value her friendship. But Ruthie, baby, has a suspicious mind. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> well, Dennis, welcome. Thanks, well, that, sir. That, that clip sort of partially explains the, the, the plot. Uh, could you perhaps elaborate just a little more without giving too much away? Um, it is about... Well, I'm married to Ruth, um, who is six foot and fifteen stone and not the most attractive woman in the world. And that's the Julie T. Wallace that's been getting a lot of uh, attention in the media recently. Yes. Big lady, to say the least. She is, she is actually very attractive also, but um, they made a very, we used to sit in the makeup room and each have a moustache put on every morning. Yeah. She's strange when you're sitting next to your wife and she's putting a moustache on. But um, I eventually leave her. We have what is known as an open marriage, in, like I tell her what I'm doing. Um, and I eventually leave her for Patricia, and then basically the story is... Patricia Hodge is playing the part of... Uh, Mary, Mary Fisher. Mary Fisher. Who is a romantic novelist who lives in a white tower. Um, and basically from then, once I leave, it is how Ruth gets her revenge on both of us, and she, she certainly does. <laughs> but the lady drags you off to her white tower, does she? Well, I move into the white tower, yes. Yeah, she, she, um, she does... She doesn't try to fight me off a great deal. And you don't do much fighting anyway? No, no. Yeah. Given up fighting. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the revenge? I'm totally, when I say it's a black comedy, uh, it is, is it funny? But it is terri terribly bizarre, I gather, is it? It is very, very bizarre. I mean, some of it I find very funny, but it may be, um, may be a little black that you don't realise it's funny. Um, it is a comedy. I hope people do laugh, but it doesn't matter if you don't. I mean, it just, <laughs> it's... Yeah. It's one of the strangest things I've ever been in. I mean, the, the title is a bit worrying, Life and Loves of a She-Devil, because it's, there is nothing really magical about what she does. It's just like she decides to become powerful. Um, it's all from within her, but it's not really mystical as such. And you call her a She-Devil she when you depart? Yes, you? it's just a, one of a line of abuse. <laughs> yeah. And she takes her revenge in a very strange way, or ways. In I many think. strange ways, yeah. yes. That um, deal with lots of... She, she becomes something like nine characters throughout the piece and I'd like to tell you how it does end but it would oh, really no, no, it would no. really wreck it I won't let you I won't let you I mean like all actors who are very well established now uh, you you can be rather more fussy about the scripts now it's a Faye Weldon based on a Faye Weldon uh, novel is it not is, very, it, is it a good very, story is it well written good to act in? oh yes it's written by it's been adapted by Ted Whitehead but as faithfully as I've ever seen an adaptation I mean there are huge chunks straight out of the book um, there was the, the book. They sent me the book first, and then the scripts. And Philip Savile was directing, who I had great admiration for. You rate me. him? Oh, absolutely. I mean, anybody who saw Boys from the Black stuff, you, you can't not. And I couldn't say no to it. It was wonderful. Now it's tonight. I think uh, BBC Two at nine twenty-five. It, it, but it's it's a set, is it? It's yeah, it's, uh, it's um, four one hours. Yeah, it'll be every Wednesday for the next four weeks. Mm. And how's the delicious Patricia Hodge? The last time I saw her, she was exceedingly delicious. You're quite right. I have to agree with this. Now, what you're doing now, that is presumably all in the can and done, is it? The yeah. whole four sets. So your life now is uh, doing something else. What, what is that? I've been doing a few... I've uh, been doing a couple of little television things, but what ha is happening actually next is that um, Ruler and I, being the clever people that we are, are going to Perth with a play, but it just happens that we're going there for the end of December, January and February. <laughs> for the cricket. Well, there's cricket, there's yacht racing, and there's lots and lots of sunshine. <laughs> While you're here in February, I'll, I'll nearly think about you. That's lovely. Well, we will. I was uh, never been to Australia. You send me a card, will you? Wish send you were me here. Frank. Yes, I'd like that. <laughs> yes, well, several people do send me cards from exotic places. Oh, I will. I'll do that. Anyway, thanks very much, and, and we look forward to seeing the series. And, and good luck in Australia. We envy you that. Thanks, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Cheers.